Today's chemistry topic is reactions of phenol. So, lot of reactions we have to be discussed here today. First one is electrophilic substitution reaction. Electrophilic substitution reaction. What's the meaning of that sentence? Electrophilic. Electrophile group. Electrophile it is substituting in phenol. So, what is meant by electrophile? Electrophile means positively charged species. The attacking reagent it is having the positive charge. So as you know in the case of phenol when we add an electrophile. So electrophile the positively charged species no it will be substituting in ortho position and ortho position you will get one product. Then also the para product. Two products mixture of two products you will get. One product is in the ortho position and one product is in the para position. Why it is the substitution in the ortho and para positions only not in the meta because you know that as we discussed early the resonating structures or conjugating structures of this phenol you know about that the negative charge it is concentrated in the corners of ortho and para only. So the ortho corner and also para corner it is having more electron density. So when such an electron density if it is there in the ortho the positively charged attacking species it will be readily substituting in that position that is why the ortho and para position also you can see in that conjugative structures. These are the resonating structures of phenol. Here you can see that ortho position, para position, the negative charge concentration here also ortho you can see that the concentration of the negative charge electron density is more in the ortho and para positions. Okay, that's why the positively charged species when we are adding here automatically it is substituting in the ortho and para positions. From this resonating structures we understood that the activation of this OH group, the OH group which is attached to the benzene ring which activates the electrophilic substitution in the ortho and para positions because this or yes in that O's the lone pairs of electrons are shifting due to that only the negative charge it is concentrated in the ortho and para positions okay that's why we are saying that this will be the OH group which is attached to the benzene ring that is the reason for activation of the electrophilic substitution in the ortho and para positions so this electrophilic substitutions it mainly include nitration then halogenation then sulfonation like was lot of so here we can discuss first one that it is nitration so you know that nitration means nitro group NO2 positive is the electrophile acting here so that NO2 positive group which is attacking in the ortho and para positions. When phenol, when it undergoes nitration, for the nitration reaction we are using dilute HNO3 that is dilute nitric acid at low temperature that is 298 Kelvin. So from this, this NO2 positive electrophile it is produced from this HNO3. There is a mechanism at all for uh, uh, there in the production of electrophile HNO, uh, NO2 positive from HNO3 that all you leave it no need to study. Okay. So here you will get the mixture of the ortho nitro phenol and also para nitro phenol. Mixture of ortho and para you will get it. So from this it is possible to separate the ortho nitro phenol and para nitro phenol by the method of steam distillation. When the process of steam distillation when we are carrying on the ortho nitro phenol it is steam volatile. So steam volatile and para nitro phenol it is less volatile. Why this ortho nitro phenol it is more steam volatile? compared to that of the para because of the fact that here the intramolecular hydrogen bonding formation it is possible here in the case of ortho nitrophenol this is ortho nitrophenol's structure okay so here you can see there is a 
one hydrogen bonding inside this orthonitrophenol itself this is orthonitrophenol this is this portion it is phenol then next portion itself no2 group no2 groups structure i written here okay so within the molecule itself the hydrogen bonding formation this oxygen and this hydrogen between them there is a hydrogen bonding formation so intra molecular hydrogen bonding it is possible in the case of orthonitrophenol that is why the orthonitrophenol it is more steam volatile okay then next to one the paranitrophenol it is less volatile what is the reason it has the intermolecular hydrogen bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding i will show here now so this hydrogen and another one of the hydrogen from one paranitrophenol and one of the oxygen from the other paranitrophenol there is a hydrogen bond formation that's why this bond we are calling the name is intermolecular hydrogen bonding it is happening in the case of paranitrophenol okay so this paranitrophenol that's why it is said to be less volatile so when such a big structure when it is forming due to this intermolecular hydrogen bonding what happen here association happens so easy volatilization it volatile means easy to evaporate easy evaporation it is not possible because it because of this intermolecular hydrogen bonding the association happens big structure it is happen that's why it's not easy to evaporate that's why we are saying that it is less volatile but here in the case of orthonitrophenol intermolecular hydrogen bonding happens here so not such a big structure so there is no association it is happened here so that's why it is easy to evaporate and it is said to be steam volatile one when the phenol if it is treated with concentrated hno3 here no2 positive it is originated from this hno3 the product formed here it is 246 that means in the ortho positions and also para positions together it will be form the substitution no2 group it is substituted in phenol in all the ortho and para positions so this compound's name is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so second position nitro fourth position nitro and sixth position nitro so 2 4 6 tri nitro phenol this compound name this having one common name that it is picric acid important question it is how picric acid we can form what's the full form of picric picric acid or what is the structure of picric acid so all these things it is very important when we use concentrated hno3 so substitution of no2 it is happened in all the ortho and para together but here when the dilute hno3 when we used or the product alone para product alone you are getting okay then when we conduct this reaction the product it is occurring in a very less amount so that yield of that product reaction product it is very pure poor but nowadays this picric acid it is preparing from uh, the phenol with concentrated h2so4 addition so that method the reaction it's not given in the textbook but that sentences it is given so that's why that answer also i'm giving here to you so when phenol when it is reacts with h2so4 this method i'm conducting here for preparing picric acid yes this is the usual method but nowadays we are not following this method of preparation but because the product it is formed due to this reaction it is very little yes that's why we are preferring this method okay so for that we are adding concentrated h2so4 that means concentrated h2so4 substitution uh, the addition method we are calling it as it is one of the electrophilic substitution reaction itself here the electrophile it is so3h so3h that is getting substituted in the ortho and para positions under 373 kelvin okay so you are getting the product ortho benzene sulfonic acid and para here 
the name it is 1 2 so second position sulfonic acid it is substituted so name it is 2 phenol sulfonic acid 2 phe here 4 phenol sulfonic acid so the such a mixture of the product it is formed due to this chemical reaction from this we are preparing the mixture of these two together we are getting okay then this mixture we have to be conduct the nitration reaction nitration reaction with the concentrated hno3 when you are doing this way what happens is that you are getting simultaneous replacement of simultaneous means together oh it's here the soh so3 h group no that is replaced and at that place so2 group it is substituted nitration with desulfonation it is happen desulfonation means this group it is removed at the same time no2 group it is getting substituted in that position so in the second position fourth position and also sixth position this groups it is getting substituted this is our 246 trinitrophenol this is picric acid and when we are conducting this uh, picric acid preparation by this method you will get 90 percentage of the picric acid that means good yield of product you will get this way when you are conducting this reaction picric acid preparation in this way that's why nowadays they are preparing picric acid by this method when you conduct the picric acid normally by the method of simple concentrate HNO3 addition you will get the picric acid but it is that is a very little amount but you conduct this phenol first you conduct the sulfonation reaction you will get the mixtures of the phenol sulfonic acid or the para you will get it and in the next step that product you have to be mixed with the concentrated HNO3 so at that time what happens is that the SO3H group no desulfonation at the same time no group it is getting substituted at that place so that type of uh, uh, chemical reaction is using nowadays the next one halogenation in the case of halogenation of this phenol we are normally adding br2 in the presence of less polar solvents such as either ch2 or chcl trichloroform or in the presence of carbon tetrachloride ccl4 at low temperatures when we are conducting this reaction at low temperatures, we are getting monohalophenols. That means this bromine, we are positive, it is getting substituted in ortho and para. So you are getting mixture of products. Yes, so but when this reaction, instead of phenol, when we take, when we are conducting the halogenation reaction in the case of benzene, instead of uh, uh, Br2 and CH2, when it is like that, the catalyst also we have to be added here. Normally FeBr3 we have to be added here for undergoing this halogenation reaction. So for what this catalyst which will be help to polarize this Br2 to Br positive and Br negative. Then when this Br positive when it is formed then only the substitution in the ortho and para positions it will be occur. For that only we are adding the Lewis acid catalyst in the case of a benzene rings halogenation. But here phenols halogenation it's not compulsory to add FeBr3. Why? Because here OH group it is attached to the benzene ring. Because of the presence of OH group it is having highly activating effect. That's why it's not compulsory the presence of FeBr3 or Lewis acid catalyst in the case of phenol so you are getting the mixture of ortho and para products then in this ortho and para product when you consider the para product it is forming the major amount 80 to 84 percentage we are getting the para product compared to the ortho that's the reason because when these two groups these are two bigger groups when it comes near there is a chance of steric hindrance when two groups comes closer there is a chance of collision so there is a, some little disturbance it is arising so due to that there is a they are not at all interested to be uh, sit like that that's why their percentage the product formation ortho it is less compared to that of the para here ortho and uh, 
sorry in the case of para oh and br and maximum distance apart so there is no such steric hindrance so more amount of the product it is formed due to this halogenation it is the para product when phenol is treated with bromine water here bromine we added with the less polar solvents instead of here we are using bromine water so you will get the product just like 246 trinitrophenol likewise itself 246 tribromophenol it is forming yes it is a white precipitate the name it is 246 tribromophenol next reaction is kolbe's reaction this is also one of the electrophilic aromatic substitution yes so when you you know that phenol from that when h plus it is releasing it is resulting phenoxide ion so this phenoxide ion when it is generated it is more reactive than phenol towards the electromel electrophilic aromatic substitution so our first step is to produce the phenoxide ion because it is more reactive one than phenol towards the electrophilic aromatic substitution so just take the phenol first in that you have to be add naoh so water removal it is happening here so water removal so one h from here and one oh from here so what's the resulting thing the ona it is substituting the after getting sodium phenoxide ion next step we are adding carbon dioxide weak electrophile now so here electrophilic aromatic substitution it is taking place so that time what happens is that here this na group just replacing their position so this na it is here coo group that will be getting substituted in the ortho position so coo co2 coo along with that na if it it is placing here and this h from this place now that is getting in the place of na so just interchange also happening here not uh, this way it is happening really this is uh, not a mechanism for understanding isness only i am saying all these uh, techniques mechanism it is big one that no need to study okay so in the next step what happens acidification process so addition of hcl so what happens na and cl it is removed and it is getting the product oh and cooh that is ortho hydroxy benzoic acid is the product it is formed it is the major product ortho hydroxy benzoic acid or 2 hydroxy benzoic acid is the product it is having one common name that we studied under the section of aspirin so what's the name salicylic acid is the product formed due to this called base reaction now we can write the next substitution electrophilic substitution reaction that it is reimer thiemann reaction this is also one of the important reaction uh, all the question paper we can see this reaction so for that we are using the phenol first it is treating with the chloroform chloroform chcl3 in the presence of sodium hydroxide the reaction it is like this so what happens is that in the first step rea remembering is not only i am telling all these steps first step water removal along with that here the substitution happening place this is ortho position so here already h is there so that h and also one of the cl you have to be remove it from this then what is the remaining thing here one cl it is removed from here so ch cl2 it is there so that it is just keep it there in that position that is ch cl2 okay see uh, here one thing o n a it is there why it is happen clear now oh it is there in the beginning this is phenol in that we added chloroform ch cl3 and naoh okay so for removal of water this h we used and oh it is used so na it is getting substituted in the position so o n a then here one h it's there already okay that h along with one of the cl hcl you you remove so what is the remaining thing here see it's cl2 that is just getting substituted in the position this is the intermediate formed due to this reaction after getting this intermediate in the next step you have to be 
add with again NaOH. So what happens is that 1H and one of the Cl, HCl you remove and 1 Na and one more Cl here no, that you have to be removed. So NaCl also removed. Here one oxygen is remaining that you have to be just substitute in that position. So CH it is already there in that you have to be add with O. Next step the acidification that means otherwise HCl you have to be added. So this Na and Cl it will be removed. So what it will be the resulting product OH and aldehyde group it is there in the second position. So ortho hydroxy ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde the product otherwise 2 hydroxy benzaldehyde is the product. So it is having one common name that it is salicylaldehyde. Salicylic acid means OH COH. If there in that benzene ring it is said to be salicylic acid. OH CHF it's there that its name is salicylaldehyde. Okay. So this is the product we are getting due to this Rimethiman reaction. This is also one of the substitution reaction. Here CHO group it is introduced getting substituted in the ortho position. Okay. The next two one the reaction of phenol with the single dust. Here phenol you take it. In that you have to be add zinc dust. So the product it is formed here. ZNO. That means ZNO. Just remove it. So when this hydrogen in this position that it is benzene. So benzene is the product it is formed when we are treating zinc dust with phenol. ZNO. Then if it's there that it is said to be a benzene. Okay. The next one. One more reaction is there. That is the oxidation reaction. That is the last reaction of the reactions of phenol take phenol first in that you have to be at chromic acid chromic acid it is formed here the things given na2cr2o7 and h2so4 due to that chemical reaction chromic acid it will be forming due to this chemical reaction the product formed it is conjugated diketone diketone means two ketones it is formed here c double bond over here c double bond over here so two ketones it is possible to see, see here and conjugated means alternate single and double bond here double bond here then here single bond then here you can see double bond then single bond double bond single bond double bond likewise alternate single and double bond you can see here that's why it is said to be conjugated diketone its name is benzoquinone then this is very slowly um, the phenol undergoes this oxidation and the benzoquinone here formed it is dark colored mixture it containing quinone okay 